entire human family. And if they were included in a similar incident at this day, it would be so understood. But it is too clear for dispute that the enslaved African race is not in that formed no part of the people who framed and adopted this declaration. For if the language of that day had applied to them, then the conduct of the distinguished men who framed and adopted the declaration would have been utterly and flagrantly in violation of the principles they asserted, and rather than the sympathy of mankind, which they so confidently applied, they would have received and deserved universal rebuke and condemnation. Spoke according to their established principles or not. And in the language.